Welcome to the conference championship round of the BTFL. Don't talk about playoffs. We start off with the AFC championship game between the 69 Chiefs and the 78 Steelers. Len Dawson, the Chiefs get the ball first. He doesn't have any pressure in his face. He throws it down the right side to Frank Arm Pitts, getting the contested catch. But then Len Dawson gets sacked on that drive by LC Greenwood. This would lead to a missed field goal by Jan Stenerud. It's no good. Next drive for the Chiefs. The ball goes over the middle, passed by Len Dawson to Robert Holmes. But then Mike Garrett, he gets tackled and he fumbles and the Chiefs will punt. Terry Bradshaw throws it down the left side to Franco Harris in the flats and then throws it over the middle to former Super Bowl MVP and Hall of Fame receiver Lynn Swan. He gets tackled at the one and Franco Harris bums it in for the touchdown. Len Dawson gets the ball and he throws it over the middle to Robert Holmes. He gets it close to the red zone, but then Len Dawson gets sacked again by LC Greenwood and this time Jan Stenerud would make the field goal. It's a four point ball game, fourth quarter. Chiefs have the ball in their own territory. Len Dawson throws it down the left side to Otis Taylor. And he could go all the way for the touchdown. The Chiefs put pressure on the Pittsburgh Steelers, who had a 14-2 record. Franco Harris says, not so fast. I'm going to get the ball and pound it into Chiefs territory. <laughs> get off me as he gets it close to the red zone. Terry Bradshaw, however, would get sacked by Curly Culp. And then the field goal would be made by Roy Jarella. It's 10 all. The Chiefs decide to go for it in their own territory, trying to get the win. And then fourth and 19, the Chiefs decide to go for it. It's kind of risky in their own territory. If they miss this, the Steelers will have almost a for sure win. It's incomplete, intended for Otis Taylor. And then Roy Jarella punches the ticket for the Steelers to make it into the BTFL Tecmo Super Bowl. Congratulations to them as they win 13 to 10 and get the Lamar Hunt Championship Trophy. And now to the NFC Championship side. We have the second and first seeded 2015 Carolina Panthers who are being hosted by the 2017 Philadelphia Eagles. This game would start off with Carson Wentz he would throw down the left side, jumping catch by Zach Stop It. That hurts. He's got a wife who plays soccer. She's a championship soccer player who kicks him when he's down. But Carson Wentz would get sacked by Jared Allen, and Jake Elliott would knock in a field goal. He's been inconsistent lately, but he makes this one. Three to nothing, Philadelphia Eagles. Cam Newton, he's got pressure in his face. He throws it to his favorite receiver, Ted Ginn, jumping catch. And then Devin Funches catches the ball, but they don't get the first down, so they're forced to punt. Nortman would punt to Darren Sproles, and Darren Sproles would collect this one at the one-yard line. He goes whoop, whoop. He shows off the wheels. He goes down the field. He's avoiding defenders, making them look foolish, making it inside Carolina Panthers territory. Get off me, he says, but Carson Wentz is sacked by Jared Allen. And then on third down, Carson, he came, he saw, he went over the middle to Torrey Smith. Eagles take a 10-0 lead into the third quarter. But Cam Newton, he needs to get something started. He does not want to be let down by his team. He throws it deep to Devin, not fun checkers, but fun chess. And then with a bit of pressure in his face, he throws a jumping catch to Ted Ginn Jr. Three-point game for the Panthers, fourth quarter. Play action rollout, bootleg. He throws it down the field to Devin. Not fun backgammon, but fun chess. And Jonathan Stewart helps the Panthers take the lead. Carson Wentz, he has Jay Ajayi direct handoff catch it. He gets it into Panthers territory and last ditch effort on fourth down. Carson Wentz throws the ball, but it's out of the reach of Nelson Aguilar. And the 2015 Carolina Panthers go to the BTFL Tecmo Bowl. And the Carolina Panthers win 14-10 and they earn the George Hallis Championship Trophy.